Hello, welcome back. Um, in this video, we're going to go over an exercise where we will find the derivative of given functions at relative extrema. So the functions are x plus 4 over x squared and x plus 2 to the power of 2 thirds, and the points are 2 and 3 and negative 2 and 0. So what we want to observe here is that f prime for each function evaluated at uh, these points respectively would be providing us zero values, and then eventually we're going to conclude that we should have a relative maximum or minimum at those points. So why don't we go ahead and hit the road by finding the derivatives of each function here simultaneously. All right, we go ahead and write down the derivative of the first function to be the derivative of the first piece plus the derivative of the second piece. Um, and for this one, it's just we're going to use the chain rule because we have the inner function x plus 2, the outer function is taking the power of 2 thirds. So let's go ahead and find out the derivatives here. So, the, so this piece uh, spits out 1. And to take the derivative of this piece, why don't we write that as 4 times x to the minus 2 prime so that we can use the power rule, okay? So it's 1 plus 4 times, the power rule says what? Um, put this as an exponent in front, negative 2. So it's a, it's a constant multiple now. And then subtract 1 from the power. So the derivative of the outer function is 2 thirds x plus 2 and 2 over 3 minus 1 times the derivative of the inner function. But the derivative of the inner function is just 1 plus 0, which is essentially 1. So this is equal to uh, x plus 2 minus 1 over 2 three. over 3 cubic root of x plus 2. And let's simplify this one. So this is 1 minus 8 over the reciprocal of x cubed. Right? That's the reciprocal of x cubed. And now we want to evaluate this function at 2. So let's just do it. So f prime at 2 will be 1 minus 8 over 2 cubed. But 2 cubed is 8 already. 8 over 8 is 1. 1 minus 1 is going to be 0. We want to look at f prime at negative 2. Well, unfortunately, at negative 2, this function is not defined, right? Because the bottom becomes 0, so you're dividing by 0. So this, is, this doesn't exist, in other words. f prime at negative 2 does not exist. So in one case, f prime becomes zero at the given point. In the other case, f prime is not defined. So let's see how it reflects, how these results reflect in their graphs. All right, if you look at the graph of the first function, that was x plus uh, four over x squared, as you see the given point two and three, uh, is the relative minimum point where f prime it was zero. Uh, and in terms of the slope of the tangent line, we have a flat tangent line here. So if you see that kind of like pattern where you have a flat tangent line, that could be a good candidate, that point could be a good candidate for a relative extrema. And for part B, as you see the graph of x plus two to the power of two thirds, um, at point negative 2, f prime is not defined because you have a vertical tangent line at this uh, point. This point produces a relative minimum value, and that's in fact 0. To sum up, the point where f prime is equal to 0 or, or f prime is undefined would be the good candidates for relative minimum or maximum values. All right, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.